El beisbolista retirado Derek Jeter es el nuevo dueño de los Miami Marlins y una de las primeras cosas que hizo fue cambiar la imagen y los colores del equipo para hacerlo más moderno y comunicarse con nosotros los latinos. Claro que sí, Cristian se lo encontró tomándose un cafecito cubano por ahí. <risa> no, y nos contó que estaba aprendiendo español. Sí. Así es, y hasta nos reveló su palabra favorita, así que vamos a ver. Tienen que ver. All right, so we're here with Derek Jeter. All right, Derek, you know, uh, thank you so much, first off. For Thanks for having me, here. man. Yes, absolutely. All right, so now, now I... Now, hold uh, on, but let me, let me mention one thing. It, uh, he seems a little jittery right now. <laughs> it's because of all the coffee. Yeah, coffee I'm kind for of the sweating. First time. I didn't want to oh, say yeah, anything. Make sure I bring that up. <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but we had our, our like you saw, our coladas, uh -huh. which is like a jacked up coffee. Yeah. And uh, I'm seeing like seven Derek Jeters right, right now. No, I'm, trying, I'm trying to focus, Co and you're making me lose my focus. Coffee is strong. No, don't do Miami. that to me. Don't do that to me. No, no. Um, all right, all right. I heard that you're actually taking some Spanish classes. I am. You know, I, I, it's one thing that I said uh, when we took over the organization. I think when you have Latin American or Hispanic players come to the United States, everyone just assumes that they speak English. Yeah. And they almost expect them to speak English. So what I've done is we've implemented in my mind, which is going to be the best educational program in sports. And, and we're making sure that our Hispanic players learn English, but at the same time, our English speaking players learn Spanish. I love that, I love that. And on that. top of that, I'm doing it in the front office as well. So give me gotcha. a little time, next time we'll do it in Spanish. Perfect, so uh, you know, one child, another one on the way, how has fatherhood changed you? And everyone says, wait until you have your own kids. Um, but it, it's pretty special. It's regardless of what happens throughout the course of the day, when you actually get there and, you, and your, your child smiles and runs up to you, it just doesn't make a difference if you had a good day, bad day. Uh, it warms your heart. So it's, it's something that uh, I, I'm extremely proud of the fact that, you know, we have a young, vibrant, energetic <laughs> daughter and then we have another child on the way. That's awesome. That's really good to hear. All right, Derek, since you are taking those Spanish classes, then so far, so far, what's your favorite Spanish word? Yeah. Mantequilla. <laughs> mantequilla. It comes in handy. It comes in handy. I, I like do how it love. Sounds. Ah, you like how it sounds. I do love mantequilla, though. But yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a see, good one. Uh, you never thought I was going to say that, I right? I did not <laughs> expect mantequilla uh, yeah. from Derek Jeter. That was pretty dope. Ah, oh, that's good. Now, now I'm never going to be able to hear that word again. I'm never going to be able to hear that word again. Hi, this is Derek Jeter, and you are watching Latinx Now. You know what you should follow us because we've got amazing people like Baby Ariel. Yay! Yay! You guys need to follow them. And what do they need to do? Subscribe. Subscribe. Click the button wherever it is. Where's the Click button? the 